read. Senate Bill 1328 by Senator Lara and act relating to stormwater. Senator Lara. Thank you, Madam President. Members, SB 328 provides much needed assistance for the increased development of stormwater capture and groundwater recharge facilities, while also prioritizing the development of these projects located within disadvantaged communities. Groundwater is an important piece of California's water supply. It is utilized for urban, rural water systems, agricultural irrigation, and industrial uses. Uh, additionally, aquifers are recharged naturally over time via the percolation of stormwater through the soil in addition to seepage from rivers and creeks. I respectfully ask for your I vote. Thank you, Senator Lara. Members, is there any discussion or debate? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Anderson? No. no. Bates? Bell? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? Block? Aye. Canella? De Leon? Aye. Aye. Fuller? Gaines? Galgiani? Aye. Glazer? Hall? Hancock? Hernandez? Aye. Hertzberg? Hill? Aye. Hueso? Aye. Huff? Jackson? Aye. Lada? Aye. Leno? Leva? Aye. Lou? Aye. McGuire? Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Mitchell? Bonning? Aye. Morlock? No. Morell? No, Wynn, Nielsen, Pan, I, Pavley, I, Roth, I, Runner, Stone, no, Vidak, no, Wykowski, I, Wolk, I. Please call the absent members. Bates, Berryhill, no, Canella, Fuller, no, Gaines, Glazer, I, Hall, I Hancock, Hertzberg, I Huff, Leno, I Mitchell, Wynn, Nielsen, Runner. Eyes 24, no 7, the measure passes. File item 173, Senator Lara. 173. Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 1338 by Senator Lara, an act relating to taxation to take effect immediately, tax levy. Senator Lara. Thank you, Madam Chair, members, uh, Madam President. As Chair of the Select Committee on Ports and Goods Movement, I have made a priority to ensure that state trade remains competitive while working towards fostering greater sustainability. The bill before you affirms these goals by providing a partial sales and use tax exemption for zero to near zero emission cargo equipment that would be utilized by our ports. Without a doubt, Members, California must remain at the forefront of trade and commerce. Our state is strategically positioned to conduct business with world-class markets in Asia, Europe, and Latin America. Aside from our mega ports in LA, Long Beach, we're also home to eight smaller niche ports situated from Humboldt Bay to Port Wainimi to San Diego. It is critical that these ports have direct access to capital to establish infrastructure projects aimed at cleaning up and mitigating pollution around, around the communities in which they are situated. California has taken a lead in subsidizing other clean technologies and has led the nation in creating new markets for these technologies. This is a great investment for California, dollar for dollar, stimulating the trade economy while establishing preventative measures to reduce health care costs. I respectfully ask for Ago. Thank you, Senator Lara. Senator Wynn. Thank you, Madam President. I just want to thank Senator from Bell Gardens this, uh, for this measure. The state is requiring our ports to invest a massive amount of money to meet zero emission mandates. Compliance with regulatory burdens like this one is an example why our ports are becoming less competitive with other West Coast ports. That said, this bill will help the Port of Long Beach and other ports um, afford the capital investment needed over the decade to meet this mandate. I urge an I vote in support of this bill. Thank you, Senator Wynn. Seeing no further discussion or debate, members, is there any objection to using a unanimous roll call? Hearing and seeing none, ayes 36, noes 0. The measure passes. File item 176, Senator Lara. Mr. Secretary, please read. <laughs> Senate Bill 1374 by Senator Lara. An act oh, related to the San Gabriel and Lower Los Angeles Rivers and Mountains Conservancy. Senator Lara. Thank you, Madam President and members. California has endured 
Recent years of sustained drought, our economy has suffered. Workers have been displaced. Thousands of Californians have been left without clean water uh, for drinking or bathing, especially out throughout the Southeast LA County part of my district. It has uh, forced us to make long overdue re reforms to improve our water efficiency and change the way we think about water resources. The reality is that these challenges may soon become the norm, not the exception, because of climate change and extreme weather. It is, uh, it is clearly time for us to fundamentally change our thinking and behavior around urban development of green infrastructure. The solution is for us to look at opportunities like the Lower Los Angeles River to provide a multi-benefits projects and promote stormwater capture and reuse while reducing local impacts of pollution from runoff, providing recreational opportunities in par pork neighborhoods. This bill directs the River Amounts Conservancy to identify projects that would maximize and capture stormwater along the Lower LA River. I respectfully ask for your eye vote. Thank you, Senator Lara. Seeing no discussion or debate, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Anderson? No. no. Bates? Bell? One more. Berryhill? Aye. Block? Aye. Canella? Aye. DeLeon? Aye. Fuller? No, Gaines? No, no Galgiani? Aye, Glazer? Hall? Aye. Aye, Hancock? Hernandez? Aye, Hertzberg? Aye, Aye. Hill? Hueso? Huff? Aye, Jackson? Aye, Lada? Aye. Aye, Leno? Aye, Aye Leva? Aye. Aye, Lou? Aye, McGuire? Aye, Aye Mendoza? I, Mitchell. I, Monning. Morlock. No. Morell. No. Wynn. I, Nielsen. Pan. I, Pavley. I, Roth. I, Runner. Stone. No. Vidak. No. Wykowski. I, Wolk. I. Please call the absent members. Bates. Bell? Aye. Aye. Glazer? Aye. Aye. Hancock? Hill? Aye. Aye. Weso? Aye. Aye. Monning? Aye. Aye. Nielsen? Runner? Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Ayes 29, no 7, measure passes. File item 181, Senator DeLeon. Mr. Secretary, please read. Senate Bill 1387 by Senator De Leon, an act relating to non-vehicular air pollution. Senator De Leon. Thank you very much, Madam President. Colleagues, uh, Senate Bill 1387 makes two changes to air quality laws in Southern California, a region with a history of overwhelming smog and unhealthy air. First, the bill adds three new environmental justice representatives to the South Coast Air Quality Management District Board. Secondly, it speeds up uh, state-level review of any amendments made to the district's reclaim program to ensure that they comply with both state and federal law. The South Coast Air Quality Management District is the regional clean air agency for Los Angeles, uh, Orange, San Bernardino, and Riverside counties. Since its inception uh, back in 1976 by then Republican Assembly Member of Riverside, the AQMD has been one of the world's cutting edge agencies for pollution control and greenhouse gas reductions. Under both Democratic and Republican leadership, it operated at the vanguard of clean air policy for over 40 years. And as a result, Southern California has grown exponentially uh, with more uh, people, larger population than back in 1976, and probably has twice the amount of cars on our highways in Southern California. Nonetheless, the air quality has actually improved tremendously, and that is because of the policies of the South Coast AQMD board. But nonetheless, as we all know, there's much work to be done. The air basin is still among the most polluted area in the United States of America. So simply put, we cannot go backwards uh, on our progress, nor can we afford to delay. As a result of deliberate efforts to weaken the board's clean air majority, there's not one single Latino on this board. In fact, the overreach campaign to get them off the board itself uh, uh, has actually 
taken away a voice that is no longer represented on the South Coast K a QMD. In fact, Riverside, Orange County, San Bernardino, and Los Angeles County, and not one single one, and the South Coast State QMD has a jurisdiction of over three-fifths of the population, which is Latino, in all of Southern California. So this was a gross overreach by the interests who had in mind to dismantle or remake the South Coast AQMD board. Uh, Madam President, as well as colleagues, the bill is straightforward. If there's any questions that folks may have, I'd be more than happy to entertain them. I respectfully ask for an I vote. Thank you, Senator DeLeon. Members, is there any debate or discussion? Seeing none, Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Allen? Aye. Aye. Anderson? No. no. Bates? Bell? Aye. Aye. Berryhill? No. Block? Aye. Aye. Canella? No. De Leon? Aye. Aye. Fuller? No. Gaines? No. Galgiani? Glazer? Hall? Aye. Aye. Hancock? Aye. Aye. Hernandez? Aye. Aye. Hertzberg? Aye. Aye. Hill? Aye. Aye. Hueso? Aye. Aye. Huff? Aye. No. Jackson? Aye. Lada? Aye. Aye. Leno? Aye. Leva? Aye. Aye. Lou? Aye. Aye. McGuire? Aye. Aye. Mendoza? Aye. Aye. Mitchell? Monning? Aye. Aye. Morlock? No. Morell? No. Wynn? No. Nielsen? Pan? Aye. Aye. Pavley? Aye. Roth? Runner? Stone? No. Vidak? No. Wykowski? Aye. Wolk. Aye. Please call the absent members. Bates. Galgiani. Glazer. Mitchell. Nielsen. Roth. Runner. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Eyes 22, nose 11. The measure passes. File item 178. Senator Laura. Did you take that up? I think you took up 173 and 176, but not 178. <laughs> Pass on file, thank you. Members, that completes our daily file. Really great job, everyone. We have got through 75 bills. So don't, but do not leave. We still have one measure on call, but we have done a great job today. Are there any motions and resolutions? This would be a, the time for adjourn in memories. Okay, don't leave.
the call on file item 112, SB 1150. Please call the absent members. Hertzberg? Pan? Roth? Runner? Move to reconsideration. Eyes 18, nose 18, measure fails. We're good. without objection. We will move to reconsideration. Reconsideration is granted without objection. I 36, nose zero. Thank you, members. Really good day today. Senator De Leon, the desk is clear. Wait a minute. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, colleagues, we had 96 measures that were eligible today. We got about 76 done. Uh, we did pretty well, um, but be mindful, today was an easy day. Uh, tomorrow, we will be here. We'll reconvene at 9 a.m. Most likely, we'll go to 6 p.m. We have to hit a certain number uh, tomorrow, which will give us a, 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 a sort of temperature check uh, when we can actually leave come Thursday. Tomorrow is actually going to be a tougher day, and we're going to have to really plow through uh, measures. Uh, just be mindful if there's support across the board. Most likely we just need the author to say a few paragraphs and we can move forward. Some bills will be highly controversial, and it deserves a dialogue and debate that's going to be robust on both sides uh, on, on a given issue. Tomorrow is going to be a little more challenging uh, because we'll have tougher bills, and we'll have more bills, but as always, we always step up to the task. Just make sure we pace it, we pace it, we pace it. Uh, our conferees will be meeting tomorrow as well, too. And uh, those who didn't see the, uh, the press release, our conferees are our chair, uh, Senator Mark Leno of the Budget Committee, the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, Senator Ricardo Lara, uh, uh, our chair of Sub-5 uh, Public Safety and Public Safety, uh, Lonnie Hancock, Senator Lonnie Hancock. On the Republican side, we have the Vice Chair of the Budget Committee, uh, Mr. Jim Nielsen, and we have the Vice Chair of the Fiscal Committee Appropriations, uh, Ms. Uh, Patty Bates. Uh, so I think it's a very good uh, conference committee. Um, we're looking forward to uh, Patricia or Pat, you know, Patricia, you know, and, <laughs> you know, so we're looking forward to uh, uh, working hard. Be mindful, if there's any votes that you need, we'll have a handful of conferees will not be here physically. Well, they'll be in room 4202. And uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at six o'clock. And for those who I see later tonight, I'll, I'll see you later tonight. Uh, nine o'clock, nine o'clock. Six o'clock is something else tonight. Um, 9 a.m. tomorrow, and maybe I'll see some of you later tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Senator DeLeon. Members, the Senate will be adjourned. We will reconvene tomorrow, Wednesday at 9 a.m.